Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different than the videos that I typically post on my channel. Um, as some of you know and some of you might not know, I am pregnant. I am currently 34 and a half weeks. I'll be 35 weeks on Monday. I'll show you, I'll stand up, show you my pregnant belly. And my husband and I are expecting a little boy. This is his name on my necklace. His name is going to be Crew. So I thought today's video would be really good to kind of share my personal pregnancy essentials that I find myself using every single day or at least multiple times a week. So why don't we go ahead and let's just jump right into the video. First things first, I love my Yeti cup. Um, I have the Yeti cup that has the straw. I also have the lid where it's kind of like a coffee mug. This thing is like my best friend. Um, I try to drink three to four uh, glasses every day. This is 32 ounces. And I've noticed that when I drink a lot of water that I feel better and it just helps to keep my system clean. And it also helps keep, has helped to keep my skin like in check. Um, so that way the pregnancy hormones haven't taken that much of my skin away from me or I guess really changed anything. Um, so yeah, Yeti cup, you don't have to get a Yeti cup if you're pregnant. You can get another like ice, uh, insulation type cup. My husband just bought me this a while ago and I find myself using it every single day. It goes to bed with me <laughs> right next to my nightstand. This is just the best thing. Next thing that I find myself using, I was using it every single day during the school year because I'm a teacher, um, but now I really use it when I go to the gym. And it is this pregnancy like belly band. I actually used it today when I went to the gym and I haven't washed it yet. But it's this pregnancy belly band. It's by the brand, um, Baobi, I found them on Instagram. This is about almost $70. It was like 60, around $65. It's basically a sports bra for your belly and it's the best thing on the planet. I was getting horrible side pains. I bought this, it came in the mail and it literally just lifts, holds everything and lifts your belly. So it, you don't have this just like constant pulling sensation that I was having that I would get to the end of the day and I would be so uncomfortable that it was just awful. So get yourself one of these. Bayo be on Instagram. Shout out to you. You saved my life. I love this thing. And I was using it every single day during the school year. Once my belly really popped, which was about in March, um, that's when I ordered this and I was using it. So this is the best. Next thing. This is a little controversial for when you're pregnant, but it helps me. It helps me feel good. I dry brush my skin. I dry brush my belly. I dry brush my backside, my thighs, my hips, my chichis. I dry brush my body and I am telling you, it is, I swear, I think it's what's helped make it. I have no varicose veins. I don't wear compression socks. I have, um, I knock on wood. I have not one stretch mark on my body and I'm almost at 35 weeks. My baby is two weeks ahead. He's a big boy. <laughs> and um, this really just helps keep my skin feeling so soft. It really, I think has helped the most on my belly with keeping it to where it's not itchy you know if i itch my if you itch your belly when you're pregnant or if you itch anywhere it's going to break the skin apart or not break the skin apart but it basically breaks the collagen apart and the elastin apart and that's what's going to really cause also you know with keep in mind if you gain weight really quickly or if you're just prone to, to genetics for stretch marks but if you scratch it's going to really lead to stretch marks i dry brush and it's like a nice scratch for my for my belly um, and I don't dry brush every day. I dry brush maybe two, three times a week, but really this has helped. This is the Eco Tools dry brush. I got it at Ulta. I do it before the shower. It's amazing. Next order of business, dry shampoo. When you're pregnant, 
especially in your first trimester and you're sick as a dog or you're super sleepy and you don't want to wash your hair, use this. This is your my best friend, another best friend. It's the Batiste um, for Beautiful Brunette Dry Shampoo. I use it. I'm, I don't know what it is. My hair is not oily at all. And I thought it, being pregnant, my hair would be oily. I can go four to five days without washing my hair now. Whereas before I got pregnant, I can only go maybe two or so days. So I use Batiste. If you're feeling really sick in your first trimester, use it. It's going to really help you get those extra, you know, 20 or so minutes of sleep in the morning. That's what I did because I know when I was in my first trimester, before anyone knew I was pregnant at work, I'd come rolling in. It was just everything I could do to even gel up my eyebrows and put on lip gloss. Now I'm in my third trimester and I'm tired because I'm not sleeping. And so I just want to hurry up, get in and get out of the shower. I use my dry shampoo. Next order of business, lotions. Bell. Sorry, it's my dog. My nighttime lotion I use is the Body Shop Shea Butter. I'm literally basically gone. This stuff is amazing. Use it. Go buy it. Ulta. That's where I got it. It's the bomb. You will not be disappointed. Next order, belly butters. This is my morning belly butter. This is the Burt's Bees Mama Bee belly butter. Doesn't smell all that great. Um, it has shea butter and vitamin E, but I will tell you right now, this sucker will keep your skin moisturized. I basically moisturize from my chest all the way to the bottom of my backside, basically my entire torso with this. After I also apply my morning lotion, which right now I'm using the Nivea the, in the light blue, but I was using Bath & Body Works lotion. Shout out to Bath & Body Works. Their lotion literally was amazing my first two trimesters now I'm kind of like needing some a little bit more intense so I'm using Nivea with this amazing now nighttime butters I go in with this I also use Palmer's cocoa the cocoa butter formula with vitamin E it's as concentrated as can be it smells like chocolate I'll put this on so step one nighttime you lotion yourself with your whatever lotion it is because I shower two, uh, I shower two times. I shower once in the morning and then I shower at nighttime and when I shower at nighttime that's when I do my stretches and I stretch in the shower and it just really helps me um, to kind of like decompress from the day. And it's also a time, you know, I might sit in the shower, I might talk to baby. It's just like my time to my, my little spa time to myself. So I lotion my entire body with this. Then I go into my belly, step two with the Mama Bee. Then step three, I go in with this. This does get to be an oil consistency. I really do like it a lot. Then if I'm feeling extra, extra dry, at least three to four nights a week, I go in with bio oil. I'm almost gone. I actually got this bio oil idea from Kim Kardashian. She swore by this with all of her, with her two pregnancies and she swore that this caused her to not have stretch marks. So I go in with bio oil. You're not gonna be smelling all that great, so don't be thinking you're gonna be smelling like, you know, vanilla or floral or scent or whatever. You're gonna be smelling like just a hodgepodge of things. Then, if I don't go in with bio oil, I'll go in with the cocoa butter skin therapy oil. I like this stuff. It absorbs really, really quickly. I like my bio oil better, but this, I'll throw it in there every so often. Another option for daytime cream, which oddly enough is a hand cream, but it's the Burt's Bees Almond and Milk Hand Cream. It smells like almonds. I really like it. I Mine's almost gone. Sometimes if my skin is really dry, especially if I dry brush the night before and my skin's feeling more dry the next morning, I will go in with my... Um, the Burt's Bees Mama Bee. I'll put that on my belly. Then I'll go in with a little bit of this. I'll apply this and it really works. Okay. Last thing, cocoa butter for stretch marks. I don't like this. Um, if you do not use it by itself, it's going to ball up and it's going to be like little deodorant balls and it doesn't even, it doesn't smell. It just, 
I'm almost done. I'm not going to buy this again. Last three items. When you're pregnant, you gain weight. It's just a fact of nature. Okay? Now, where you gain your weight is all genetics. I happen to have gained my weight in my backside and my thighs. Now, with that being said, I what I felt was, to me, you know, when I got pregnant, I was 120 pounds. I've gained 35 pounds. Do the math. <laughs> Again, I have a really big baby. My baby's probably going to be close to nine and a half, nine pounds or so. I use Johnson's baby powder. I put this in my groin, under my, um, under my boobs, and it really just helps keep things dry. It helps keep things from just, it just helps keep things feeling cleaner. Um, so yeah, I was getting almost like a, like a rub rash in my thighs from where my thigh and my groin meet. Um, I started using this, especially on days that I would, you know, shave my bikini area. I would start using this and my, the rash went away. I use this every time I get out of the shower, every single time, whether it be nighttime or morning time. Sticking with the down south area, when you're pregnant, your lady parts are like constantly showering themselves if you get my drift. You, you, the amount of discharge that you have goes up and it's just a way of your parts, keeping things clean, keeping things healthy for baby. Um, I did not have to use pads up until maybe a month or so ago. The pads I use are the Kotex Barely There pads. They're made for thongs. I was like, I cannot wear the big pads. I haven't worn a pad since I was like 16 when I first, you know, got my period. This is what they look like. They're very discreet. They're very small. Here, I'll even open one up for you. And all you do is you put this in your, you know, you put the panty liner in your underwear and you got your panty liner, you got your powder, you're good to go. Nobody's gonna know, these don't make any noise. Um, they're super discreet. I mean, I'm able to keep these in my purse and nobody knows. And last pregnancy essential for me, Tums. Oh, how I love Tums. I never had indigestion. And then I got pregnant and first trimester, I was extremely nauseous. I was so nauseous. Literally, I lived on pop these outshine vegetable fruit popsicles, cutie oranges, and uh, I'd have a bagel for breakfast with a very light layer of cream cheese. Um, and plain rice cakes, not even sh like salted rice rice cakes. Second trimester hits, baby gets bigger. I get indigestion. Guess what? I start drink, eating on the daily. You know, I would eat no more than four a day per my doctor. So anybody that's going to tell me that that's too much, my doctor said I could have more than four, but I wanted to stick with four. So these are the Tums assorted fruit flavored I've eaten these ones, I eat the berry ones, I do not discriminate when it comes to Tums. I love Tums. Now my baby has, he's actually dropped, so my indigestion is not as frequent. Um, I just get indigestion if I eat a big meal. So whenever I eat a big meal, I'll just make sure that before I go to bed, I have my Tums. Now um, a few other things that I did not include. Get yourself a good pillow. I had a pregnancy pillow, the big white one with a C that looks like a C. I didn't like it. Um, I just use two down pillows. My poor husband only has one pillow right now because I take all the other ones, but it's only for a couple more weeks so he can live. Um, get yourself a good pillow. If you're not active, be active. I mean, don't go start, don't go and start a crazy, you know, gym regimen. Don't do it. If you weren't active before you got pregnant, don't go start trying to be active. What I mean by being active is go walk, go do things. Don't be a lump on a log. Even if you're feeling so, so sick, if you just go walk 10, 
15, 20 minutes, you know, however long it may be, you are going to feel a world of difference better. So I hope that you found this video useful. If you have any pregnancy essentials that I did not include, go ahead and list them in the comments down below. I'd love to hear what you guys um, are going through with your pregnancies. And you know, that way we can connect through YouTube. And if you like this video, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. That way you guys know anytime I upload a video. And thanks for watching. See you soon. And I wish all the best of luck to you and your new little one. Bye.